Hi there guys, this is Chris Coney speaking and welcome back. So here in front of me I have EOS Authority's dashboard, the link to which is in the video description. If I click on Power Up on the left hand side here, and then click on Power Up Statistics, this blue bar here, this is the total capacity of the EOS network. And right now it's at about 6.61%. That's how much is being used. So there's plenty of room there. The chart below that shows the gradual transition from the old resource model where you stake EOS 4 resources over to the new model where you just rent resources on a pay-as-you-go basis. So to make this clear, let me go over to the next tab where I have the Cryptoversity EOS account displayed on blocks.io. So you can see here I've previously staked EOS tokens for CPU and net. That was to enable my account to do a certain amount of activity on the network. That model is now retired. So staking for EOS resources in this way does little to nothing for you. So I've removed most of my EOS from there, leaving a tiny bit of EOS for CPU and net staking. So instead of using this model, I'm now using this tool, eospowerup.io. Now you can use this free feature where you enter your EOS account name and then click on Power Up to get some free resources. The trouble with that is that it's a manual process that you can only do once every 12 hours. So I'm not bothering with that. Instead, I'm using the auto feature, which first requires me to sign in with my EOS account, which I've done here. I'm using the Graymass Anchor Wallet. Now I'm on the auto tab. There's just two steps that I need to complete. First, I need to deposit some EOS. So I'm going to deposit one EOS into my power up balance, click add funds. I'll sign that with my anchor wallet and that should go straight through. The second thing I need to do is add my account to the watch list. So I click here to do that, enter my account name. I'll just copy it over from blocks.io. It's the crypto VST account. I want to add the resources to, and in these boxes, just leave it as five, 10, three, and eight. So I'll click add. That's another transaction I need to confirm. Off that one goes. Now it doesn't matter how much resources you select really, because this thing will automatically buy more resources for you as soon as you run out. But I've found the best balance with these settings, the five, 10, three, eight, because it only buys tiny amounts of resources at a time. And then it just makes it much more efficient. So that's it done. You can now pretty much forget about resources. That one EOS I just deposited there will gradually be reduced as I use resources. Allow me to demonstrate. If I now refresh the account details on blocks.io, you'll see my account resources have gone up. If I then go and use some of those resources, say if I do a swap on DeFi box, let me do that. So say I swap one, EOS into Tether, do that swap, confirm that transaction, and that should have used up some of those resources, which I can check by going back to blocks.io and refreshing. Now, if I do a few more of those, you see my resources are now starting to get used up. But as soon as I reach my limit, as if by magic, I'll be allocated some new resources by the EOS Power Up tool. In fact, all I have to do is go back to the EOS Power Up tool and refresh, and my remaining balance will be displayed up here. So that's it. Now, as long as you have a balance on EOSPowerUp.io, resource management is completely automated. And based on my medium usage of the network, one EOS is going to be good to last me about a month before I have to top up again. So that was how to use EOS Power Up as fast as possible. Please spread this video far and wide, tweet it out, post it in forums, in Telegram chat groups, anywhere where there are people who are confused about the Power Up model and want a super simple way to make it work for them. Until the next one, it's me, Chris Coney saying, bye for now.